You want to look at other areas of the market right now. I think there's plenty of opportunity here, especially when you look at things like industrials. There is a big trend that's happening with onshoring right now and industrial spending that I think is likely going to have a longer term upswing trend here. It's a lot cheaper valuations right now. Um, we still like things like international and emerging markets. You definitely want to be in those mega cap tax, but I would not be overweighting those right now after they had such a strong run. OK, we, we've seen some of the talk now about this recession. We've, we've addressed it with other guests earlier in the show We've been and you and you, we've been talking about it for a while. You've been talking about it for a while. This notion that is there going to be a recession or is there not? It's been the better part of a year now. Plus, how should investors be positioned for the second half of the year? Knowing, by the way, Courtney, what happened last year, it was a bloodbath that the rally that we've seen so far. Is it going to be a bear market rally this time around? Or are we s simply put still going to be in a bull market phase for the rest of the year? We're definitely optimistic we can still be in a bull market here. This has been the most anticipated recession of all time that may not even happen. And the economy is still in a lot better place than people realize. The consumer is still spending. Wages are still rising. Inflation's coming down. Earnings actually continue to get revised upwards or um, earnings expectations. And I think really a lot of even the bears are becoming less bearish, which is pretty interesting here. So, you know, I think a lot of people too are saying, eh, I've missed out on this rally. The market's already significantly higher since October. We're still well off the highs of last year. The markets still have a ways to recover. And I think as an investor, you do want to make sure you are still invested. You are going to take advantage of this upswing because, you know, it's going to be this wall of worry. I think that's what you're seeing It's the hardest times to be an investor is often the best times to be an investor. I think that's what you want to do here. But again, we've seen this huge concentration in all your basically seven companies, which is your big tech firms that have been leading the market. Just be cautious. Don't be overweight in that. Don't chase that upward swing. You want to be invested more broadly right now. Courtney, we've just got a few moments left here. Is the consumer spending picture and the strength there going to still be tilted towards services, travel, leisure, dining out, and leaving behind things like good spending? I think it'll it'll lean that direction, but I think you'll probably see good spending actually start to normalize as you get just more normal past pre-COVID levels. Um, so I think probably later in the year, you'll see, start to see that tick up. But yes, in the meantime, it's definitely going to be more services.